Well, hello there. Welcome to another Lessons with Left Tool. Today, I'm gonna be putting in a chain drain. Rain chain. Rain chain drain. Rain chain drain. <laughs> So what I've got on my hands today, i got a hole in my gutter for the downspout, but I don't want that gutter messing up the view of this area. I want to make it a little nicer. So chain drain. Well the chain's coming out of there, it's going right here into this fish's mouth, and it should look pretty cool when we get done. Well hello again, left tool speaking. Stay tuned till the end of this video to find out if this chain drain actually works. Spoiler. I don't know. You'll have to stay tuned. So, unfortunately for me, I was dealing with some more plastic tubing and another pop-up drain. So I had to dig yet another ditch. More on that, click the link in the description. I did another video earlier to uh, give you some tips and stuff on uh, doing that whole process. Started off here with this fish pot I got. This little guy was a lot thicker than I had originally thought. So, luckily for me, I had a friend with an orbital saw, and that's how we cut this guy open. And I'm gonna use this fish to catch all the water, and I need this hole for the plastic tubing to go into, so it's got somewhere to drain. Found me some nice nuts and bolts that would fit into my chain. Found the right drill bit. Climbed up this epic ladder. I'm not sure what this thing is called. I'm calling it the downspout mouthpiece. Anyway, I'm gonna use it to screw my nuts and bolts into that will also hold my chain up. in my little fish guy here. I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of dark, but uh, shove that black tube in the hole on the bottom and uh, so all the water will drain there. But I need this guy to sit up maybe about this ish tall, somewhere in there, and uh, marked where I need it to be straight underneath that guy. So I got this little nail here marking the, so it's got to be, you know, Right, right here-ish. And uh, then we'll work on putting the chains up there. Oh, yeah. knees I just uh, use an old pillow. <sighs> Great joke. Gotta do this one hand in here. Maybe it. The viewer would like to know. I'm uh, caulking around the uh, plastic tubing uh, so that that tubing doesn't rip out basically. And so I don't have a top. I'm probably gonna leave like a small opening so that the water in the very bottom can drain out. But most of it, I don't want water just coming out. I want, I want all the water 
going into this fish's mouth to be going out the pop-up drain. So I'm gonna just seal up the uh, bottom here. Yeah. <coughs> just use your pillow and wipe the extra caulking off on the pillow there. <laughs> There's one rock. <laughs> So this is just us burying the tubing, but I kept tension upwards so that while we were burying the tubing, it wasn't pulling against the fish pot and trying to like rip the tubing out of the pot. Tried packing it down as much as possible all around it so that once this thing was set, it wasn't moving anywhere. This is the only tool I got for this thing. I just wanted to cut this little, uh, little, just want to cut this little, uh, guard to keep the rocks from going down the drain so just water goes down. But I only got this little bitty, uh, where that thing is. I need more tools. This tool needs more tools. Now here's a good lesson for you. While you're taking a nice long break, just have either your brother or right tool or both of these come over and uh, do all the work for you. He came over, he cut the chains, uh, he put the tube in the fish pot for me, moved a lot of dirt. This really was not a difficult job. Fairly self-explanatory here, you can see how I use the nuts and bolts to hold the chain up. not so self-explanatory. So we went ahead and attached the bottom of the chains to that uh, guard that I was showing you a second ago. Um, wanted to keep the bottom of the chains from moving as much as possible, but I'm pretty sure that filling in the pot with rocks would do the job just as good by itself. ourselves a chain drain and I'll just wait for uh, for a little rainfall and uh, test her out stay tuned we'll see how it looks so I couldn't wait for rain so I'm gonna go ahead and spare experiment with this uh, manual rain to make my own rainfall Let's see how this works It is sticking to the chains really well, but I think I'm losing too much right out of the top. Yeah, I'm losing too, that's not gonna work. That's losing a lot of water. So, uh, 
I got enough chain to do another one, so I think we'll hook that up and uh, hope that fixes it. Let's try that. See here, when we put the fifth chain on, I think what's going on is we've got the chains closer together, it's able to grip the water better because there's not nearly as much water coming off of the chains now. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt another one through the middle and I'm gonna, I only have chain enough for five chains right now, so I'm gonna try to do one in the very center of the four chains that I already have and hope that works. If it doesn't quite work, then I'll go buy one more chain and I'll have six. But for right now, I'm gonna run five just cause that's what I have to work with. So I think it was a little hard to tell from the footage, but when I had the four chains on there before I put the hose in the house, water was going everywhere. So I put the fifth chain in the middle and now it's the finished product. Also, I put a small bracket on the mouth of the downspout and put a lot of caulking up there to help direct the water flow from the top to get to the chain. Because once it gets to the chain, it really sticks to the chain very well. The chains are spaced less than one inch from each other, which made the biggest difference. Keep in mind that with any wind, the water will spray off the chains. But with little or no wind, this works great. Now, check out some footage from a couple storms that rolled through. catching almost all of it. Not quite all of it, but pretty darn close. 